Hello everybody, how are we doing? I feel like I'm starting a weekly vlog and I'm not. Well, actually I kind of am, but it's a, a food weekly vlog. Um, how are we? I'm absolutely flipping freezing. I think it may be the first day of the entire year that we actually put the heating on because I keep avoiding, oh Harry Potter's a little bit loud. I keep avoiding putting the heating on, I'm just one of them. <laughs> I want to get some more firewood to actually use our fire because I do oh, I'm so cold. <laughs> it's freezing and it's so dark. And because the clocks went back like the day before yesterday, or yesterday even, my brain feels like, well my hunger feels like it's an hour later. So it's like seven o'clock and I usually have a bit of a later eater. Anyway. <laughs> I thought this week I would film a what I eat in a week. So, oh my God, I'm so cold. Um, I'm gonna focus this video on my dinners because if I show you like every single meal through the week, it'll turn out into a really long video. I look great. <laughs> so we're gonna make dinner together every day this week and just see what we eat. It changes every week and I just, it really depends on like whether Niall's cooked something and we don't want it to go to, go to waste so I always eat it or yeah, if me and Niall cook together or if we decide to get a takeaway which actually we're not big takeaway eaters or eater outers, we like to eat at home. Yeah, we like to make our own food so I'm sure we'll be cooking at home quite a lot this week. So because it's freezing and because this meal is just so comforting i was gonna get my phone actually and um text niall he's in the gym to see if he wants it too and actually cook for him for a change because if you know me well if you're new here you won't know this but if you know me well my fiance niall is an incredible cook <laughs> a lot of the time i eat his food but today i'm actually cooking and because he's been working late and in the gym late now I might see if he wants it too, and I feel like he will because he loved a jacket potato I made him when he'd just come out of hospital, so. I'm gonna make jacket potato, and I'm gonna have tuna, beans, and cheese with it. I feel like for some people that's a really weird combination, but I just have to have all the toppings, and maybe some salad as well on the side because I do like a bit of crunch in there. But super easy, super quick, and just, yeah, it's just really nice and comforting. <laughs> I'm literally shivering here. I bet the dogs are freezing as well. You a bit chilly, honey. Should we start putting your jumpers on? <laughs> He's waiting for his dinner, actually. I'm just gonna give Niall a ring and see if he wants it as well. He is just down in the garden, but I'm not going out there in the cold. Hello, do you want a jacket potato for dinner? What are you having with it? Beans, cheese, and tuna. Uh, you do? Okay. And a bit of salad. Yeah, I get some greens. Yeah, well. Do you know that you're on speaker on my vlog? Oh, no, I didn't know that. <laughs> I thought that's why you said that. <laughs> okay, I'll make it now. Alright, thank you. Bye. I'm just literally gonna just jab my potatoes. So we're just gonna have one each, I think. Just give them a jab. I put them in the microwave first, actually. Okay, Bell just gagged, that was a little I Put them in the microwave for about seven minutes because it speeds up the process and then I'm just gonna pop them in the oven. <laughs> Chef Megan on the loose. <laughs> So basically I've put the cheese on first so that it melts underneath the beans. That's a top tip trick that you have to do when you make jacket potato, but there we go. Got some rocket, some tuna mayo, cheese, beans, and jacket. Lovely. Are you excited to have Come on. Come oh, take it. On a chilly evening, on a man on a Monday. I Comfort never refuse when comforting, you're do I? Comforting Monday vibe. Can I put some more cheese on top? Yeah, you can put a bit more on if you want. They're passing around the tuna bowl. <laughs> Basil's turn. Oh look, he was waiting so patiently. Right, wait, wait, wait. Now Blue Bell's turn. Okay, now Poppy's turn. Oh my god, this is so cute, Niall. They're actually playing past the tuna bowl. 
Basil's turn. <laughs> Bluey's turn. Oh my god, how patient are they? I'm playing past the tuna bowl so that they all get a bit of tuna. Oh, he got slapped! Oh my god. Good evening, everybody. It's Tuesday, and me and Niall are just making. Excuse me. Me and Niall are what? <laughs> I'm making it with you. So me and Nile are just making some dinner together. I am actually mid-filming another vlog, so I've just been crying with laughter. <laughs> because Niall, we just, me. we just we just carved some pumpkins and Niall did like a full-on sketch pretending <laughs> he was the pumpkin in a little pumpkin town. It was so funny. It's a bit rude though, but Anyway, <laughs> it was, you uh, swore so it. many times. Yeah, you had to yeah the yeah. bad swear words as well. The bad ones. Anyway, me and Al are currently making dinner. So we're making chicken wraps with chips. So do you want to explain your little machine? <laughs> it's, uh, it's the T-Fow Axe Fryer. It's and really it's good for making this chips, one. this one. Yeah, really, really good. Um, so basically you can use less oil and it will still give you a nice little crispy chip at the end. Go on, chef. I am using vegetable oil, which is not seen as that healthy, but it's just because it gets so hot. You're not supposed to... Do you use to... vegetable oil? I thought we used um, olive. Yeah, you're not supposed to cook with olive oil at these, these kind of temperatures, because it's uh, it can be bad But the you. chips come out like um, frozen <laughs> wedges. You know the ones that you get when you're a kid? Yeah, yeah. That's what they come out like. A bit of piri piri salt. Yeah, that's probably why as well, but they're really good. So we're going to make them first. They go on for like half an hour, don't they? Yeah, that's the other thing. You don't have to parboil them. Yeah, it just does it all for you. It will be ready. Yeah. In 29 minutes. <laughs> so we've just fried some chicken in Nando's peri peri sauce. This is the one we use. Ah. Oh, I just burnt my hand. And we've got some kale steaming as well to go on the side. And then all we're gonna do, oh, our chips are done. They look so good. They actually do look quite like Nando's chips, don't they? Yeah. This is essentially our own homemade Nando's. Yeah, home Nando's. So we're gonna have a wrap and we're gonna pop some tomatoes, lettuce. Actually, you're really good at making a wrap. Do you wanna show them? Oh, yeah. So you make it taste way better than I do, and I don't know how. Well, I'm, I'm going to be careful to not put too much sauce and stuff in. So oh, a bit come of mayo. on, get this sauce in. No, but that's why they're nicer. Ketchup you know. in a wrap, I used to think would be disgusting, but it actually adds a really nice sweet tinge. Ketchup in a wrap? Yeah, you, you taught me that. I think it'd be disgusting. I don't know, I just didn't really like the idea, because I like this sauce with a wrap. Where is it? This is the sauce I always have in my wraps, because it tastes like the Nando's salad dressing. It's just a Caesar one from Tesco. But that in it as well really makes it nice. Or some fancy sauces. Oh no, I don't like them. I put this in and you said it was spicy, but it wasn't. I didn't like these. My Smoky chipotle these ketchup. Sauces. Cherry bourbon barbecue sauce. No, no, they're too much for me. Sriracha. I just like a bit of Heinz hand. Oh, one thing we've forgotten is cheese. Got to get our cheese in our yeah, wrap. I'm oh, I'm having cheese, hun. Dinner is served. So we have our chips, our kale, and our wrap. Lovely. Go and give me a cheers. Cheers, happy Tuesday. <laughs> they look so funny because Blue Bell's dressed as a pumpkin. <laughs> Hello everybody. Happy Wednesday. How are we? I have had not the finest day. <laughs> so if I'm looking a little bit, that's why. Um, but I am actually just going to make myself one of my favourite dinners slash lunches. I have this for lunch often as well and it's so easy. It takes 10 minutes. If you know me, you'll definitely know this one. But I'm going to make myself some kale and lemon pesto pasta. It's a newbie that I recently started making because Niall made it once and I was just like, oh my gosh, this is insane. And you literally barely need anything, but the secret ingredient is the lemon oil, so that's a necessity if you want to make this, otherwise it's not quite as special. But basically all we're going to use is some Philadelphia and some, hang on, let me get it all out and I'll show you. So all we have is some kale, some pasta, some Philadelphia red pesto, some crushed chilies, parmesan on top, and obviously the lemon olive oil, which actually is quite difficult to find, I found, but I got this on Amazon, and you can get it in home sense often as well, but 
all we're gonna do is boil the pasta. So I'm gonna pop this on now, on to boil. And we're gonna steam some kale at the same time. And then we just zhuzh it all together. I'll show you, I'll show you, hang on. Okay, so our pasta is boiled. I've just drained out the water. Sorry, my head's half cut off. <laughs> um, I'm just adding the steamed kale to the pasta. And then I'm just gonna pop in a big old scoop of pesto. This one is really nice. This is the roast red pepper pesto. I'd highly recommend that. Camera doesn't wanna focus on it, but it's fine. <laughs> Um, and then I'm going to add a big scoop of Philadelphia, actually kind of more like a three quarter. If you get too too much Philadelphia in there, it goes a little bit. I can't think of the word. <laughs> and then we're gonna add some crushed chilies and some salt and pepper. I forgot to say that earlier. Just a little spritz of salt and pepper. Look at me, the chef today. <laughs> And then a big drizzle of our very special ingredient, our lemon oil. I don't know why I've never had lemon oil until like three weeks ago. Is it a regular thing? I don't know, but it's so good. And then we're just gonna mix that all together. So you want the Philadelphia to obviously like melt into it. So you might wanna stir it for a little bit. And then we're gonna serve it. Oh, it smells so good. It just smells so fresh. I'm gonna serve that then and just top it with some Parmesan. If you have tried this already, you'll know why I'm so obsessed with it. If you haven't, try it and let me know in the comments if you try it. Hello everybody. It's Thursday, and I'm not showing you my face because I'm very pink from a gin that I've drunk. No, it's right, they have a sneak peek, but <laughs> I've just had a gin, and I haven't had a gin in a while, and it's affected me. We're just about to have dinner, and we have some ready-made dinner today because Niall has been at work making some food. Tell us what's in them. I haven't decided yet what I want, though. So it was, um, what's this it was a YouTube video, and it was quick and easy chicken meals that are not boring. And so this is chicken, tomato, and basil pasta. That looks really nice. This was a tray bake, which the tray's over here. Also tastes really nice. I just had a taste. It tastes like sesame oil. This was a oil. tray. Um, it is a sweet and spicy chicken and rice tray bake. I can't decide which one to have. Which one should I have? I feel spoiled. Ooh, I think. I if you really want to know how to make them though, Niall is actually just launched his own brand. It's called The Good Bites. Just loads of cooking things. So this will this be up by next Thursday? Hopefully. Carl's editing the video, so I hope. Carl's over here. Hopefully he's Give done. Give us a wave. Way. Good bite team. <laughs> <laughs> it's the first time he's ever edited a video, but I know. I could Come have on, got Kyle, like, you need to have your gin. I could have Give got, us a uh, cheers. First good bite day filming, <laughs> not that I was involved, but <laughs> I was in the background. You were just a distraction. Cheers, what about you? You're gonna cheers us? Oh, cheers to the good bite cheers. day cheers. one of filming. Cheers. <laughs> I'll cheers him with just ice. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm gonna have one of these. I'm not sure which one I'm gonna have yet. I feel like I might have the rice actually, because it's, it's a sesame one, isn't it? Yeah, you can have rhubarb. It's, yeah, it's got sesame oil in it. Sesame, I do love a bit of sesame oil. So good. But yeah, basically, sorry I'm not showing you how to make this today, but he literally has a full on lowdown on how to make that on the good bite. So I'll link that in the description box if you do want to have a go at making these. But happy Thursday, happy Friday Eve. It's your Friday Eve. I isn't know. It? It's the eve before Friday, like Christmas Eve. Naughty, naughty. <laughs> Good evening, everybody. Happy Friday. Me and Niall have just ordered our dinner, and we've actually gone for a takeaway tonight. Do you know what? We've actually gone for a Chinese, which I never really go for, and I don't know why. I just feel like I've got... I know loads of people are obsessed with Chinese takeaways, but I just have this weird thing about them where it just makes me think of, like, greasiness. Is that just me? I don't know. It's just like my last choice of takeaway. But tonight, I had this sudden craving for the duck pancakes because we were food shopping and I saw them in there and I was like, oh, 
and I was like, oh, maybe we should do it. So we've done it. <laughs> we've got a Chinese takeaway on a Friday evening, which is actually really lovely. I'm also currently watching Justin Bieber's new documentary on YouTube. And so far, it's actually very emotional. I feel like all of his YouTube episodes are just really emotional and just really, really good. But I'm going to watch that while I'm my Chinese. But just to show you what we've got. So I went for a chicken chow mein. And obviously the duck pancakes was the big thing that drew me in. So we've got them in there. And then Niall went for a crispy chili beef and a rice. I don't know what this... Oh, oh, that's our vegetables for our pancakes. So we've got our pancakes in here. Oh, does anyone else just love these duck pancakes? Anyway, that's our plan this evening. Also, just want to show you this because it's so cute. I gave Basil and Blue a haircut. Can you show us your ears? Oh look, he's on a trip. And so is Bluey, where is she? Gonna show us your haircut? Oh look, can you tell guys? <laughs> Niall always thinks she looks like a boy when I cut her ears, but I think she looks smart, don't you Bloob? <laughs> it's gone really quiet. <laughs> Good evening everybody. Happy Saturday, everyone's staring at me. <laughs> <laughs> wanted to show you what we're having for dinner. My wings, <laughs> I'm dressed as a butterfly. But um, we're currently having some dinner. Can you tell us what it is, please, Frankenstein? It is the chicken ruby from the Dishoom cookbook. All right, Kurt. It oh, is. Okay. It's an amazing curry recipe. <laughs> Wait, let me find it in the book, because then I'll about, show I you. I still haven't got used to vlogging. <laughs> oh, you're going to have to get used to vlogging, Carl. Oh, Carl's oh. moved down the road. You live like five minutes away. Oh. Okay, so this yeah. is what we're having. Oh, I thought it was chicken tikka masala. Is it called chicken <laughs> ruby? It's similar, but it's a chicken yeah. ruby. That's what they call it. Okay, so we're eating out of this book, which is called Dishoom. This is oh. what we're eating anyway, guys. So, um, <laughs> sorry, I'm not making food again. We will make food together tomorrow for our last <laughs> day of the week but yeah this is what we're having tonight a chicken ruby which is a curry which smells lovely now i've actually been making this all day haven't you haven't you been making this all day yeah the chicken's been marinated all day the sauce i made at 10 o'clock this morning go on and now we just have to do the final touches we've got the rice here yeah have you made special rice then no it's just like a really nice way like it's really yeah so nice and fluffy sticky and fluffy you can't take you seriously like that <laughs> oh. and we've got some sides in the oven we've got some naan bread go on show them show them <laughs> And these are just Sainsbury's specials. And we've got these things. What well. are they called again? Saga Saga Sagaloo. There's some chick chickpea ones. Sagaloo. Anyway, I will see you tomorrow for our last evening of food. So yeah. Happy Saturday. We've got lots of Halloween people in the house. Oh my god! There he is! Elliot wanted to take over yeah, today, but you didn't get the got chance. Got a butterfly, uh, yeah. we've got a zombie it's thing, terrifying. we've got a Frankenstein, and we've got a cat and a cow. Hello everybody. Oh, my eyes saw, look at it. Oh, look at it, Paul fell on his eye last night. Hello everybody, happy Sunday. I look like an absolute egg right now, but I've got a hair mask in, and I've just been pampering myself, so I'm just looking... But me and I are just about to make our Sunday night dinner. I'm feeling peel these. very sleepy. Do. Yeah, I'm going to help you. I'll chop, you peel. Oh, peeling's the worst job. Okay, you anyway, chop. I'm feeling very sleepy. And um, just so you're aware, but we're basically making our chips again, aren't we? So we're using the act fryer, I'm making homemade chips. And then we're going to have some salmon and some steamed kale. I think that's it. No, I was going to make a salad. Oh no, oh, kale. Steamed kale. Yeah, a bit of kale, a bit of kale. Okay, that's I easier. I was going to chop up some veg to make a salad. No, let's have a kale. So yeah, that's basically what we're doing. But I will get peeling and I will update you as we go on. Killing two birds with one stone. <laughs> this is it's the expression. It's strictly a result, so I'm not missing on you could, you could stand there and watch it. <laughs> Okay. My mum does this. Okay, so, as long as they're getting peeled. Oh, is Bill Bailey going home? Oh, he's, is he good? 
Yeah, he actually did quite well. Surprising. I thought he'd be terrible. Space, space. Oh, you're dancing again. Yes. Ot, he's quite anti-teammate, isn't he? Oh my Because I keep on saying, you going? Is it nice? You don't like that, do you, Baz? Yeah. Come on, then, chef. What's next on the agenda? Chips are in. Just gonna steam some kale. Got this salmon. Just made a little sauce, haven't you? I made a little sauce. I just freestyled it. It's just uh, like a tablespoon of sesame oil, a tablespoon of soy sauce. Oh, camera at focus. Carry on. Two tablespoons of rice wine vinegar. Go one what? tablespoon of honey. Two cloves of garlic. Flipping, I guess. Just a little. Hopefully, it will sort of caramelise a little bit. No, it does smell nice. To be fair, it smells like salad dressing, but I love Should a bit of vinegar. Salmon, butter. Yeah. A little bit of butter. And then we've got our kale that's going on to steam. And that's about it. I'll show you it when it's done. But um, actually, I'm gonna go upstairs just to say goodbye. Oh, is, that, is it 10, 10 seconds? Oh, I thought it said 10 minutes. I don't know what my brain's doing right now. I literally feel like the biggest egg right now. I can't even deal. Um, but I just wanted to say, I hope everyone's feeling okay. They did just announce in the UK that lockdown is starting again. Yeah, I, I just wanted to basically send all my love to all of you guys and hope that everyone's not feeling too down or anxious or sad. Um, as I said before in other videos, you know, this constant change and just feeling out of control is can just really trigger you know, feeling anxious and just feeling really strange. So I just wanted to send all my love. I hope you're okay and I'm always here to chat too. I'll hopefully be able to provide some form of love and just happy vibes in my videos throughout the month when we're back in lockdown in the UK. But yeah, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I just basically wanted to film it to give you guys some recipe ideas with Niall because Niall is flipping great at food. <laughs> I'm not so much as you will have seen throughout the week. My, my meals are much more basic and his meals are really technical and cool. As I said as well, I think I said at the beginning of the week, but every week does change but that was just what i ate this week but oh i actually as well i was gonna say if you want me to do the same thing again but maybe with lunch ideas or even breakfast but i'm one of those people that just eats the same breakfast every single day so I'm, i feel like that would be a very boring video but yeah let me know if you'd like a video like that and the other thing i just did want to say quickly is obviously last night we it was halloween and we had a few of our friends around feel so grateful that we were actually able to do that just before lockdown is now hitting next week where we are you are currently allowed to see people inside up to six people so we had four of our friends around for dinner which was really really lovely i just wanted to say that because obviously the rules are just different everywhere at the moment me and my mum were talking about it earlier it's just really confusing and yeah i just wanted to let you know um but anyway i am gonna love you leave you because you know what on a sunday evening i don't know about you but my brain is just like a potato i'm just a bit of a slug today <laughs> but um anyway i hope you enjoyed this video i will love you and leave you with my dinner when it's ready but thank you so much for watching let me know if you're going to try any of the meals that we had and i will hopefully see you in the next one love you guys so much see you soon